Surprise, surprise! Look who it is! <laughs> He's not looking that way. There he is! <laughs> He's a little over a month old now, and yeah, last time I filmed, I think I was only like five months along, four months along, so here he is. Had him at 38 weeks, and he's literally the best thing that has ever happened to us. We can't get enough of him. And his name is Easton Joseph Heinley. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that got on the camera or not. Anyways, so yeah, this is our little baby. So the video I am doing today is how to get this look. I'm calling it my go-to mom look because it's just minimal. It's 10 or 15 minutes long depending on how fast you can do your eyebrows because my eyebrows take me at least 5 or 6 minutes depending on, you know, my, my skills with my hand that day. So is he falling asleep? You can tell that he has his dad's skin tone because look at mine compared to his. Mm. Hmm, he's got little Indian in him. So if you want to know how I got this look and how to achieve it for yourself on a quick day where you're rushing out the door and having to, you know, get you and the baby together, um, just keep on watching. But before we get going, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I post. I will be posting when I can. Um, it's not going to be every week, but it'll just be a surprise, like today. I hope y'all are having a good day, and if you want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, it's been a while. So I've already moisturized my face with the It Cosmetic Secret Sauce Moisturizer, and then my under eye with the It's Potent Eye Cream by Benefit. I'm going to go shut my bird up really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so he still might chirp a little bit, but hopefully not as bad. If it bugs you, I'm sorry. If it bugs you as much as it bugs me, I would not watch this video, to be honest. So I'm gonna do my makeup the way I've been doing it since I've had our little boy. Which, he's right beside me, sleeping like a little angel. There is still time to do your makeup. A lot of people told me while I was pregnant to, you know, say bye to makeup and, you know, don't expect things to be the same, blah, blah, blah. I still put makeup on my face. I mean, not every day, because I'm not going to work right now, but I still put makeup on my face when I'm going out of the house. Whoa, somebody's having a dream. Or for example, we're going to a wedding on Saturday. So I'll definitely be putting a full face on then. Like I, you just gotta work around and adjust to the baby. And that's what I've been doing and I feel like it's going pretty great. I'm gonna do the makeup that I've been just doing lately. I haven't been putting any eyeshadow on. That does take extra time. So this makeup look probably takes me about 15 minutes because of my eyebrows. If I didn't have to do my eyebrows, it would probably take me less than 10 minutes to do. So yeah, I've already moisturized. My skin is super, super dry. After having him, it's like, I don't know, my hormones just went crazy and I don't know if my face is gonna stay this way, but it's like whenever I put moisturizer on, it's like putting moisturizer on a freaking piece of sandpaper. Like it's pretty, my face is dry. So all this stuff, that I'm using today is going to be very like moisturizing stuff, dewy stuff. I have matte foundation I still wear, but it just, right now it just doesn't look good. Anywho, on with the tutorial. For primer, I'm going to be using the Bye Bye Lines Serum by It Cosmetics. And this is just the dewy one because again, my face is insanely dry. But I don't want to complain because it's worth it. I got him. And I'll admit though, some days I just don't, I mean, if I'm rushing out the door and having to like, you know, feed him really quick before we go somewhere, I don't put makeup on, but still. On days when I want to make it happen and I want to put some of my face on, this is the look that I do. I don't know. It just annoyed me. The whole time I was pregnant and people were like, oh, things aren't going to be the same. It's not about you. Say bye to makeup. F you. Okay. And I'll be using my It Cosmetic CC Cream and this is in the shade Fair. To put powder over this foundation, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix powder, and this is in the shade NC15. And then to cover my dark circles, because lord knows I got them, I don't sleep very much these days, it's very off and on, I probably get maybe, I feel like I just get two hours of sleep a night, but last night I got a pretty good amount of sleep, I got about four hours, so bye bye under eye corrector in the shade light, you already know. And then for concealer, I'll be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. And 
and I definitely put it on my eyes because when I'm tired, my dark circles, I feel like literally go onto my eyelid as well. <laughs> kind of weird, I know. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. And I'll be using my e.l.f. fluffy brush to apply that. For bronzer, I'll be using my go-to, my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. And my usual SL Miss Glam Madison Miller M01 Fluffy Powder Brush I'll be applying that with. And then for Lush, I'm going to go into the I Want It All palette by Kylie Jenner. And I'm going to be using... He is dreaming big time. I'll be using the shade Cheers for Lush. And I'll apply that with my It Cosmetics... Flawless Blush Brush in number 227. And keeping this with me right now, I'm going to be going over the creasing in my eyes. In my eyes. See, I've been so sleep deprived I can't even flip and talk. I'm going to go over the creasing that the concealer made on my eyelids with my sponge that I blended my concealer out with. And then to set it, this is my go-to shade, I'm gonna be setting it with the Buttercream Frosting shade in that same Kylie palette. It's just a nice, for people who are as pale as I am, it's a nice shade on the lid. Cause some people put like bronzer and when I do that, it looks like an ever loving mess. But the Buttercream Frosting shade is the perfect shade to set the concealer with. It's not too white, it's not too dark. So I just swap that on like so. Next is eyebrows. And if there's one thing that's going to make me late in doing this small, minimal makeup routine, it's the eyebrows. I really want to get them microbladed, but I don't have $400 to spend. <laughs> And then as you can see, my eyebrows are pretty much a mess. So of course I gotta go in with concealer and fix them. So that's that's why my eyebrows take so long. So, but those of you who have nice eyebrows and who are able to like not even hardly put any product in it, this routine will probably take you like 10 minutes. But no, not for me. I gotta put concealer on these bad boys because I mess up. But now I'm just setting my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm going to set my face with the Smell the Roses um, setting powder by Jane Iredale. This is a hydrating one. Everything I'm using is literally just hydrating. Just give me all the hydration that I can get. And then while that dries, I'm gonna glue. I'm gonna put the glue on my falsies really quick. You don't have to do falsies. I know that takes a long time for some people, but for me, I feel like it takes less time to put the falsies on as opposed to putting mascara on. That's just me, because I like to pile the mascara on when I do wear mascara alone, but I don't know, I feel like the falsies are just faster. Okay, so for the mascara, I'm just gonna coat my lashes with the False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara by MAC. I got this in my Ipsy bag this month. This is my first time using it, so let's see how it works. It separated my eyelashes pretty good, so you can leave it like that if you're on the go, but I'm putting falsies on. So these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are the only ones that go good with my eyes. The other ones, I just, I don't know. I just have problems with, or they just don't look good on my eyes. They look too fake, or they're just, or they don't look good enough. Okay, and then I'll coat the bottom lashes with the It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. I love this mascara. And if you want, you can put like a white eyeliner on your waterline. I like to, but this, the pencil I have is too thick and I can't flip and sharpen the damn thing. So uh, I gotta go get myself 
a big pencil sharpener before I could use it again. Highlight. I'm gonna use the Stila highlight. This is kind of like this, it's like squishy. I don't know, I really like it and it's super pigmented. You don't need very much. So when I'm on the go and like needing to hurry up and put my face on, I like to use this. I have a couple more that are kind of pigmented like this, but this one's just my go-to. This is in the shade Opulence, the white AF shade because uh, I'm white as fuck. Okay, and I'll be using my, I got this in my Ipsy bag this month too. This is just a crown brush. It's like a highlighting brush. I, I'm interested to use it. I haven't used it yet. Lipstick. And I'll just use my It Cosmetics Je ne sais quoi Lip Vitality. And <laughs> I gotta get more. It's almost gone. I'm so sad. It doesn't look too pink, so super i don't know for me it's a perfect pink all right so that completes my 15 maybe 10 minutes if you don't have eyebrows like mine makeup routine i hope y'all enjoyed and i am glad to kind of be on camera again i know it's not going to be like my normal uploads twice a week it's just going to be whenever i can do it um i go back to work in october but whenever I'm just feeling up to it and I'm not too tired, I will definitely film and put some more videos up. So if you have any ideas or anything you want me to review, I ordered the vault collection by uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. If you want me to like do a tutorial on one of those, everybody else is doing them. So I doubt y'all want to see a tutorial from me, but hey, I just might do it anyways. I don't really care. I kind of want to get in the groove of filming again when I can. So I can't promise an upload every week, but I'll just surprise you like I did today. I hope y'all are having a great day and I'll see you in my next video.